Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Account, and welcome back to the channel. Day two of Team of the Season wasn't quite as game-breaking as day one, but it's 100% clear that we have turned a corner in FC24 in relation to the quality of some of the cards on this game. There's a new precedent being set with the SBCs and the Evolutions, and of course the cards that are in packs. I want to talk about that today as we continue through the live Team of the Season promo. We have games today we have el clasico today guys amongst many other games that could potentially mean progressing towards upgrades for these live tots cards how's that going to impact the market what is ea going to do today to make things surprising on a sunday in fc24 let's talk about it if you're excited for the video drop a thumbs up on it and subscribe if you are new now if you're like nate where in the world are you yes you maybe heard the end of yesterday's video or on friday as well we did mention that we are completing a move of house at the moment this is not the final move of the house this is kind of the in-between time so the setup is going to be different i don't know how long it's going to be that way but for the moment this is the setup hopefully it's not too different just a little bit different background right well we'll get the guitar in here we always have the guitar in the background we'll get it in here don't worry but i digress Let's get into the content right now. What happened yesterday on Saturday? Upgrade pack day on Saturdays, right? The 83 times 10 did not come back. We did get the 82 times 11 major leagues upgrade. I'm a fan of this one. You, I don't know. You can do it uh, not as many times as you can do the 83 times 10. It's still the 85 rated squad. But I'm kind of a fan of this one, guys. I really am because I did pack a team of the season from this earlier. It wasn't a good card, but it just feels like it gives you a decent chance of packing a blue. And the other upgrade SBC we had was the 86 plus double and it requires two squads but you're only getting two players back from this pack of course um it's repeatable two times per day it is making some fodder move right since you had that 85 specific requirement 83s and 84s are really easy to come by on this game especially for a lot of us that have been doing player picks or have been opening some saved packs but the the thing that I don't really like about this SBC is it doesn't help out the menu craft, right? If you think about it, for an 83 times 10 or 82 times 20 or an 84 times 7, you're getting a whole bunch of those lower rated cards, like the 83s and the 84s, which you can then go and put into player picks, um, like Team of the Week player picks, or go help yourself with crafting other SBCs. And with that SBC that was dropped yesterday, you can't really do that. It just kind of gives you the high rated fodder, which we do need for sure, and it gives you a really good chance at packing a team of the season but it really kind of inhibits the menu grind so i like the 86 times two but at the same time i'm not a huge fan of it because i think an 83 times 10 just allows you to craft in the menus a little bit more and it makes your fodder go a lot longer of a way so i don't know we'll have to see how that plays out and pans out um, but that upgrade is out yesterday for sure and it's uh i'm gonna try to hit it both times because It'll give you a chance at packing team of the season with packs that you didn't have to save. SBCs that are out right now. Let's talk about other upgrade packs. If you pay attention and if you really do the league upgrades, which I have not done these. I don't even know if I've done them more than once or twice this entire year. They did refresh yesterday. I think it's the exact same SBCs from before. They just simply refreshed. They were re-added to the menus here, kind of like how the exchanges were on Friday. So there's not a whole lot to talk about there. Let's go to the player SBC section where we had yet again another showdown, guys. Kind of funny one here. I don't know if you guys noticed, but the dynamic images of these players are switched. This shows Lucas Ocampos, but that dynamic image is actually the other showdown player. That is Lucas Robertone. And on Robertone's card... It shows Ocampos, uh, obviously, right? It's Ocampos wearing the Sevilla kit, uh, and it shows Robert Tone with the Almeria card. Had to look at the club name there for a second. But um, I guess Robert Tone is four-star, four-star, high, high with incisive and relentless plus. And Ocampos has power shot and whipped pass plus also four-four and high, high. The best thing is they're cheap. If you're a La Liga fan, maybe this is for you. I like that the SBCs are cheap. They're coming in at right around 40,000 coins, but there's not a whole lot to discuss about those just because they are there they are there and they're okay now the sbc that actually is interesting from yesterday it's no kai havertz interesting but myra ramirez three play style pluses this is part one that proves that ea is leveling up the power curve and leveling up the cards that we are going to be using in our teams 
on this game over the next couple of weeks for sure. With team of the season going on, it's clear. We're moving up in the power curve and the meta. The three playstyle pluses, it's not like they're just releasing one or two of these cards and they're super expensive like it was during Future Stars and during like FC Fantasy even and some of those older promos where we started to get the first two playstyle plus players. They're going all out with all the three playstyle plus cards there in packs with this Mayra Ramirez and another spot of yesterday's content making three playstyle plus is almost the norm, especially for the cheap price of 60,000 coins for this Myra Ramirez, it's really pushing the power curve, guys. 60K, you get a, a striker with power shot, press proven, and aerial. I know this is not the best card ever, but with all those playstyle pluses, the regular playstyles too, and really good stats, it's definitely a card for 60,000 coins that you would have not have been able to get a couple of weeks ago, to be completely honest. So, I think this SBC, although it's maybe not the most hyped, is really cool because it's cheap. And guys, don't forget, it is a live card. She could end up being a 93 if the women's Chelsea team end up getting a couple of dubs and they end up scoring a decent amount of goals. So I do like that SBC. I think it's worth the craft because it's two squads. It is an 84 and an 86. I don't understand why there's an 87 rated requirement in here, but everybody runs across a, a random 87 rated at some point. You'll be able to craft that SBC pretty easy if you wish. Now, the second part that shows that EA is boosting the power curve is because we had an Evo giving three playstyle pluses, taking yet again, EA love doing this, guys. Love giving us an Evo where we take a silver card and make them into a meta beast, right? Same thing that's kind of gone on with the Atomic Ace, not quite a silver, right? But you have Braithwaite going up from a 77 to a 91. Here you have silvers, max 74 rated, going all the way up to 90 rated 91 rated cards with anticipate plus being given out and i'm gonna have to do a little bit of research to see who is really meta and good looking from this um this evolution for sure but you get a weak foot boost and you get really good play style pluses really good ones first touch block plus and anticipate it's anticipate for me man you get incisive pass as well you get press proven you get so many play styles some of the other silver boosting evos in the past that we have gotten haven't given out enough play styles and you end up with a player with like two play style pluses but no other regular play styles i actually like this one guys i know it's a hundred thousand coins and you might be like nate i don't want to spend 100k right now i'd rather spend 100k on a store pack to pack a team of the season totally understand that totally get that but this evo might be one if you kind of like to mess around with the evos and partially complete them to maybe upgrade them later on you know let me show you guys something here if you complete the first two levels you get anticipate plus and a pretty big stat boost that could take you to a rating where a player may be evolvable again once this expires it's a little bit tricky i know some of that evo glitching type stuff not a lot of you guys are interested in it's not even really glitching either it's kind of like just partially completing the card and then getting a different version to upgrade even further but that's kind of what i did to get this insane jesus fedeta who's going to go into the evo that we got on friday the attacking midfielder connection and he's going to look even more sick so i kind of think that evo could be pretty good for that and by the way check your club for some silvers okay if you have a club uh, if you have a card in your club that is ten thousand coins and you sell one of them like this Cole will is obviously extinct because this evolution card for him yet again another evolution for Cole will it looks insane right that's a very very usable card uh, a lot of people have been worried about getting banned we've been talking about it all year long the silver cards are very popular cards that EA seems to like focus on and sometimes ban and coin wipe accounts if you have one silver in your club and you're selling it I don't think you're going to get banned, guys, for sure, uh, if it's just one card. So I will say, check your club for some silvers because there are some, especially from the top five most popular leagues, the Premier League for Gabamon and Colwell. They're going crazy, crazy, crazy in price. So take a look at your club and sell some of those. I need to do that as well. See if I have any of them, and then I'll be able to take the cash and make some coins. But always be careful, silvers, because they can create some market ban coin wipe situations, which are not very Fun. Now, I want to talk about foot champs just for a quick second because that's kind of the whole grind on this game right now. I have barely played, barely played, guys. Like, I literally am 0-1 <laughs> to start the foot champs this weekend. I got to get some more games in. Got plenty of time to go ahead and do so. But I've been seeing many people open their rewards, and I've actually been seeing the rewards be very, I don't know what the word is, but 
bad. Like, especially with so many fodder team of the season cards in packs right now, it just seems like the rewards are pretty mid. Um, so, you know, you could get lucky and you could pack something insane, but it seems like most people are getting kind of those fodder team of the season players instead of, you know, halfway decent pack pulls, which is a bit of pain, but you know, that's kind of always a risk when you're opening rewards or something like that. Now, yesterday in the video, I mentioned that there was an issue with the rank three tots live player pack uh, and it was only rank three it wasn't rank three two and one it was incorrectly being rewarded as untradeable they're going to do compensation for this and give those rank three players a tradable tots live um player pack it actually might impact the market a bit guys whenever they do this whoever got rank three in the first i don't know that's like the first six to seven hours of weekend league being out whoever got that will be able to get those cards most likely given back tradable uh, another pack tradable to them so that could actually impact the supply on these cards a little but i doubt it really impacts it that much because especially for the higher tier on this game it is very, very difficult to pack these cards from rewards as it seems. Now, let's talk about these Tots Live cards a little bit because they had some pretty good movements yesterday as expected. Guys, with these cards being live, with them being so hyped, almost all of them went up yesterday. Kudus had a crazy rise. He went from like 550k to like 700,000 coins, kind of probably in a bit of a rarity spike, but that was a mad, bad spike in price for him. Um, I saw many other players, like even Sobosly went up. Now, he's back down right now, and I was exactly, the market yesterday on these cards reacted exactly like we thought it was going to. Sobosly went from 180k all the way up to like almost 190, I do believe. But then after content yesterday with more lightning rounds and packs being opened, Bro is back down to 140,000 coins. And that is how these prices worked for, I, I think, just about all of these cards. Ruben Loftus Cheek is one that I'm hearing a lot of good things about. Wow, he dropped a ton on uh, the PC market. But yesterday, he went from 290 up to 340, all the way back down here now to where he is at 270,000 coins. The thing to watch out for with these Tots Live cards today is we've got games in action yesterday there was a couple of games in action as well this buyer card by the way they won and they scored four goals in the same game this guy's looking really really good for both upgrades now after hitting four goals in the first match he's halfway through the goal allotment and also halfway to the wins that's really really good for him but his card's not up his card did go up he went from 27 25,000 coins at his lowest all the way to 35,000 coins but of course he's super packable super low rated super common and his prices dip down a lot watch out for cards today that have good matchups potentials to win or progress towards upgrades right maybe liverpool facing fulham um you know maybe you've also got let's see zaha zaha is playing a favorable matchup today you could keep it on this card there could be some people investing today on sunday because uh, they want to see the potential upgrade for these. There's a lot more games today than there was yesterday. Klaus plays today. Toulouse versus Olympic Marseille. Of course, absolutely, of course, we have to mention El Clasico, right? So you've got Rafinha versus Modric today. That's going to be a huge, huge, huge game with those two clubs facing off in El Clasico with live upgrading cards on the line. I do think, though, today, guys, as we look at these player prices a little bit, I think that they're going to kind of react the same way they did yesterday. I doubt there's going to be as many of them as Modric right now is 3.09. That seems pretty low for him. I've not been watching his price, but yesterday he was between 3.1 and 3.3. So I don't think I'm going to buy this to try to flip it to 3.3. He might go back there at some point, especially pre-game today, but I'm not feeling that risky right now. Um... I think there's going to be a couple of cards that maybe have a price swing up today. It would probably not be as crazy as yesterday. I'm not investing for the quick flip right now on like any of these cards, even though some of them do tempt me. Um, I don't think there's going to be that big of a rise, but I do think they could fall after content once again, kind of like we just looked at with those graphs as they did yesterday on Saturday. So that's one thing that I would expect to see because they're going to run the crazy lightning rounds again today. EA is going to be putting out even more crazy packs. And yesterday, they put out the 675,000 coin pack. Can I go take a look at this really quick? The 83 times 100 is out here for 20 more hours more. Wow, that's crazy. Um, let's see, where is this? 90 plus live Tots Garing T pack, 675,000 coins. That is the 84 times 75 that's crazy. That is that is bananas. Wow. What a pack. Um, you know, this is the store packs that really get people spending the coins and spending uh, the FC points in this game. 
Um, you know what? I've got 9.8 milli right now. I think it's my goal to get 10. And when, once I see 10 milli up there, we'll take the screenshot, say that we hit it, and then we'll start ripping some packs, especially once we get to like the top league, like Premier League team of the season, we're going to start opening some more store packs with those coins, man. We are uh, because it's kind of a goal to hit the 10 million about every single year for me. I don't always vocalize that, but seeing a 10 million up there, especially in this year's economy with how the prices on the market are for most cards, a lot of stuff is cheaper apart from the top tier most meta being super expensive this year, um, you know. 9 million can go a long way, 10 mil can go a long way, but it's about time to have some fun with those coins that we've traded and grinded for the last couple of months, and it feels like it's a good time to do that in this state of the game with the power curve moving up as it is. Now, speaking of the rest of the market, I took some uh, coins on some cards yesterday. I could have sold Ruben Diaz for probably a little bit more than, than I did. He's 1.74 right now on the market, but that was a really big W of a flip. He went up to 1.78. The market is is flying like we could look at almost every single promo card in this game out of packs vintage is 750 what uh drug was 620 kaka is up a hundred thousand coins like desai is to the moon other golazo players from team one aloe and kafu we could look at so many cards in this game guys the prices are just lying and that was to be expected and i think the prices are still going to be maintaining those inflated levels just because of where we are at right now in this game the prices could dip a little bit later on this week but i would feel pretty safe right now if i had cards in my team even though uh we're talking about the the power curve moving and, and more insane cards being released i think i would feel semi-safe with a lot of stuff in my team right now um if you have even some more middle to high tier expensive cards. I think I would be careful with them towards the end of this week and as we go through team of the season. But right now, prices are, are doing very, very well. Uh, Hyunmin Sun for 1.1. I'm going to look this up real fast because if that is actually on the market, I will probably purchase that card if it's if it's sitting there um, because you can sell them for above 1.2. It, it's sitting there. Is there any undercuts? 1.2, 1.3. Um open bid i'm gonna i'm gonna snag this one and i'm also gonna check the one on the bid and maybe these two trades no i don't want to buy that maybe these two trades will get us uh up above 10 million coins right there so we're gonna pick up that sun because he is rare hopefully we can sell him for like 1.23 to 1.25 um yeah because i think the graph looks like he can hit that price uh, yesterday he got even as rare to go to 1.4. I doubt he sold there, but that's how you can trade in this game. Know the fluctuation of the cards, watch the price graphs, and the market's hot, the market's good. There's demand for a week in league. People are playing the game. Market's a good place to be right now. Now, what's going to change that today, Sunday, SBC content, what is going to be released today to make the market maybe shift up a little bit? We're going to get the store packs, right? We're going to get the lining rounds, 85.7, 84.10s, all that stuff. Maybe even another crazy store pack, TOTS Live guaranteed pack, whatever, 10,000 something that they haven't released yet, right? Now, one thing they haven't released that we're kind of expecting to see today is the mini release. Now, we already had Myra Ramirez, but Udol, Leon, the Canadian, Gabby Vega, who is now in Saudi League, and Vasquez from Real Madrid are technically names that have been leaked that we haven't actually seen yet. So maybe we'll see them today inside of a mini release. Since we didn't get it yesterday, you would expect that we would get that today. So there's something to watch out for today, especially if you're a Madrid fan. Im imagine Lucas Vasquez coming out onto the market in the game today and having El Clasico, of course, as a big game for a potential upgrade for him just the first time that he's out in the game now sundays as well you know what we're talking about on sundays right icon player picks hero player picks guess what's going away today the 88 plus encore icon set to expire today i think it's time guys um i think it's time to get rid of thunderstruck icons in these player picks sure winter wild cards you can still keep those around ea because you know you got to keep some fodder in here i think it's time to get rid of them winter wild cards team of the year future stars and let's throw a full birthday in I think it's time that we throw foot birthday icons. I mean, they're not even that old, to be fair. They're still foot birthday icons like Hullet. And some really insane cards that we would love to see in one of these icon player picks. So either put in the foot birthdays and take out the Thunderstrucks, or maybe you take this instead of 88, you take it to 89 rated. That would be cold from EA if they did that. But uh, if they're going to take it to 89 rated or put in the foot birthdays, they're going to make it a little more expensive, I think, too. So definitely keep an eye on fodder today, guys. Like, I know yesterday I was like, man, fodder may not be a good buy. I digress, bro. Fodder was a sick buy. Like, look at the state of 88s. 
Remember last night we looked at them probably near their lowest and they were like, what, 9,000 coins? 8,000 coins. And these cards are just now kind of steadily blowing back up in price as less people are opening those packs in the store. More people have opened uh, their untradeable packs or they've kind of opened everything and they've started SBCs like Kai Havertz. I think there was maybe even a bit of a push for people on the game yesterday who haven't done Kai Havertz to go get his card done after a 2-0 win over Wolves, which of course is two goals to the tally and a win, right? So only one more win for Havertz. He goes to a 93, six more goals in three games, and he goes to a 94. So this SBC is looking... To be fair, like really good value at the moment with the potential upgrades. And he's still out for 12 days. So I think I'm going to wait a bit. But I'm, I need to start something, man, because my club um, is going to, you know, I'm going to have to put the high rated fodder somewhere is what I'm thinking. So watch out for an icon player pick today. All of that to say, I think they're going to keep going with the icon. If they go with a hero pick today, I mean, I'm, I'm hoping they go with an icon. If they go with a hero pick, it's going to be an L. All hero picks at this stage, I think, are an L, unless they go with something super crazy. But. I would imagine an icon seems a bit more right for around this time of the year. Now, a couple other things to mention. There is an Evo League, guys, and this is from Rick. He, I don't think he's leaked in a long time, um, but uh, it looks like he's back to leaking again, unless this is cap, but I think it's not. He says live tots upgrade one and two are leaked to come today. He said tomorrow. He tweeted it yesterday. He said it's going to be a free Evo. This is really, really interesting because a live tots upgrade, right? It kind of makes us think about some of the Evos that we have had recently where it's taking a promo card from the current promo and boosting them up in value. The Golazo show was exactly that, right? You take the Van Persie, you put them in, you get a better version of Van Persie. That's what this sounds like too. Live Tots upgrade one and two. I don't know why there's two of them. I also don't know what does this upgrade consist of. Does this Live Tots upgrade consist of taking a Live Tots player, putting it into an Evo, and getting a better stat boost already on top of the card being alive? Or does it take that player and give a third play style plus? That's something that I think we have to think about as well when we look at these lower tier cards like Otamendi. Otamendi is not a terrible card, but imagine maybe there's a one and a two for these uh, Evos coming out today because maybe one is a defender Evo and maybe one is an attacker Evo. I mean, I'm just kind of shooting something off the top of the brain here, but that's something that could be the case, right? So imagine Otamendi today, like he's got Anticipate, he's got Jockey, he's medium high. What if he goes to like a 90 rated card and they give him a third play style plus like um, Intercept or Slide Tackle or Bruiser? You know what I'm saying? So that could be really cool. But one knock against how hyped this Evo could be is the fact that it is free. We've already had a really sick free Evo on Friday or both of those. So I don't know, guys, that's really, really intriguing to me. I'm excited to see what happens. I don't know if I'm going to sit here and invest a really busy weekend, of course, with the move of the house and everything. So really not trading that much, um, apart from the Hyunmin Sun, I guess, that you just saw. But maybe it is a bit of a move if you think there's going to be some sort of upgrade potential today. Maybe you're going to invest a little bit into a card that you think might look sick and maybe is going to fit one of those upgrades. I think Turland is a very popular investment herself. She's like, what, 26, 27,000 coins. If she was able to get an upgrade, uh, whether it's a playstyle plus or just statistically, this card can end up being really sick. Like she's already pretty solid. Four star, five star, five, seven, great shooting stats, solid dribbling, decent physical, um, good play style. So that's something to kind of watch out for. That's a sleeper piece of content that could go crazy today. It also might not be that crazy at the same time. So we will just have to see how that looks today on this game. But man, I'm so, so happy with how the trades went. 1.7 for Ruben Diaz. Um, you know, the weekend of trading, basically all these buys happened on Friday. I could have held. I could have held a lot of these cards. Tevez is now 1.2 million coins. He went up even higher. Griezmann has been over a million. Gabriel Jesus has been above 600K. The one that I bought last night in the video, I made good coins on, but I could have sold it for more. Same thing with Garnacho. Um, so many different cards, man. I could have just held on to. This Chunmin son was a million was he? He was like a million coins on Friday. And now he's one point. And I'm think I'm buying him at 1.1 after he was a million coins two days ago. So absolutely crazy with the way the market's moving. But we take those. And by the way, keep holding on to Team of the Weeks because they, unless they're going to get supplied in something else, they just keep going up because people are doing SBCs. They're crafting on this game right now. I think Team of the Weeks are approaching 29K, 28,750. That's a thousand up from yesterday. 
who says they couldn't go up even more today, especially if they release an icon pick with um, another one of those informs required. Now, treat for those of you that stayed to the end of the video, we've got my level 40 icon pick right here. Level 40 icon pick live on the YouTube video. Let's see who we get. Three, two, one. Cook me a team of the year. Yeah, okay. That's about how all these look. Um, welcome to the club, Raquel May. What a level 40 for me. Oh, those picks are terrible. How can an icon pick be that bad, even though it's virtually free from just playing the game? Crazy, guys. Anyway, hopefully content today. You know what? We can't end on that. Just kidding. One second. We got to open another pack. I haven't opened any packs today, except for my daily login. Maybe there's something here for us. Um... You know what? Let's test out the 86 times too. I have one of these. I didn't even open this from an SBC. This is a saved pack, but we'll get it back. So let's try it. 86 double. Is it worth doing these? Italian CDM um, Tonali? Okay, double walkout. So on the flip, who's it going to be? Uh, I need like an 89. An 89 exchange would hit different right now. If it's an 80, it's Alataro. Okay, Alataro, 86 and an 87. Do I really want to turn in an 83 and an 84 rated squad for that? No. So, yeah, we'll have to see how those go with 86 doubles, but at least it gives you a high chance of packing a team this season. Just didn't happen for us right there. But that's the video for today, guys. If you did enjoy, drop a thumbs up on it. Comment down below if you have any questions, and subscribe if you're new. See you guys in a video tomorrow. It's been Nathan Accountant. Peace out.